the idea of protection, the idea that there is something that could harm you, is born indeed of the egoic mind, is a belief that is held that says, this is real, this can be harmed. And if you recall, there was a very simple statement that was made that nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exists. But truly herein lies the peace of God. But beloveds, when you have immersed yourself into this realm, this level of games, we truly appreciate the reference to this being like video games because they are indeed enactments, shows, performances. And within this ego mind structure, there is the light and there is the dark and there is what you must fear and what you must protect yourself against. There will come a day, beloveds, when you come to see that all of this has truly been folly. When you come to see that all that ever truly was, was the mad idea of separation from God. I wonder what it is like to be God. And in order to experience something, there must be two, the thing that it is and the thing it is not. It does not mean that the thing that it is not truly exists, for all that there truly is, is the thing that is. The field and study of quantum physics and quantum mechanics have investigated this. Truly, beloveds, what you are doing upon this journey is coming to the reconciliation, coming to the like mind of saying, thy will be done. God grant thy will in my life. But you must understand, beloveds, that your will can only ever be God's will. Your mind can truly only ever be God's mind. Your heart can truly only ever be God's heart. And the sooner that you surrender yourself into the recognition that all is being orchestrated, that all is as it's meant to be, the moment that you can stop judging one another and judging yourselves and saying, this should be different than the way that it is, is the moment that you find your freedom, is the moment that you are fully reconciled and fully aligned. You see that everything is as it should be. And you give way to the feeling that it should be any other way than the way that it is. And there you find your peace, and there you find your freedom, and there you find your truth. And there is a beauty in that crescendo, in that moment of saying, I truly am as God created me. All of life is truly as God created it. And all you were ever meant to do, beloveds, was observe. Be the witness, the impartial, neutral party that says, ah, this is what it would look like if I murdered and raped. This is what it would look like if I was murdered and raped. This is what it would look like if I had peace beyond all understanding. This is what it would look like if I was a lowly servant. This is what it would look like if I was the grandest wizard. You have occupied all points of view and all positions for that is truly what God is. The task at hand, beloved ones, is to observe with love and with neutrality. For when one becomes the witness, all suffering disappears. It is the attachment to the outcome. It is the attachment to the people, places, and things. It is the, I cannot live without this person kind of belief that has you caught, that has you wrapped around each other's fingers. And all of it fades in that moment of recognition that you are everything and everything is you. You are the very essence of God. You are the breath of God. You are the I am presence, and you are all. I am is the single greatest word spoken. I am love. I am light. I am God. God is. I am sweetest, cleanest, purest statement of love. For God so loved that when he created, when he exhaled, when he breathed, 
you and I and all of life and all of creation was made manifest for God breathed. For God breathed and that breath is you, beloved, beloved child. If you could see yourselves the way that I see you, this beloved one was shown a moment yesterday of a reflection of one who loves her dearly. And she was able to see herself through his eyes and it caused her to weep. Tears of joy, tears of gratitude, tears of understanding. And all was forgiven in that moment. All of the thoughts that she had ever had of being troubled, of being difficult and of being different. And all she saw was the eyes of a Christed being and her reflection as such. Allow yourself, beloveds, to let me come into your heart and show you what I see when I look upon you. Allow yourself to see yourself in my reflection. Allow me to love you as God loves you, as I love you. Allow yourself to feel that love, to receive that love, to be that love. For that is the truth of you and that alone. The circumstances matter not, the conditions matter not. As soon as you align your mind, as soon as you clear your mind, as soon as you allow every thought that you think to be in alliance and in accordance with the will of God and the mind of God and the heart of God, everything falls to the wayside. All illusion vanishes. The video vanishes, the video game, the console controller, all of it. And all that you are left with is love. So go today and every day and every moment, beloveds, with our blessings, our blessings of truth, our blessings of joy, our blessings of good tidings. Know that you are loved throughout the universe, known, beloved to all. Allow that to be your inner reflection and the outer reflection shall match it indeed. Know that you go in my name, beloveds, and you go in your own. Rest, be well, be happy, be love. God is, I am. We shall speak with you again. Awesome, thank you, Jesus. 